Now, I continue to watch and monitor the president at his meeting today. It's now concluded between uh, state and local officials, and he really is on a roll on the concept of concealed carry in the schools. And if I didn't know any better, I would say this may be what he believes is the solution. This may be the area he's going to try to steer this because he continues to mention it. We have another one we'll share with you uh, shortly, so don't go anywhere. Just check the email during the break. Hey, Rush, is there anything going on out there besides this Florida shooting? I said, oh, yeah, there's all kinds of stuff going on out there. And I'll get to some of it. In the remaining and final hour of today's excursion into broadcast excellence, some people unhappy with the Olympics uh, in a lot of ways. Those that are watching, anyway. With talent on loan from God. It's Rush Limbaugh, the EIB Network, the historic EIB Network, the most listened to radio talk show in America. And the most talked about host, the most smeared host, and the most envied. Behind the golden EIB microphone, 800-282-2882, if you want to be on the program. The the point that I made in the first hour that the official program observer wishes me to make again is this. In early reporting after the shooting at the, at the Parkland, Florida, Hass Group, We've got the media stories here to back it up and prove it. Miami Herald referred to the shooter as bullied, mocked, laughed at, made fun of. Any number of early drive-by media reports focused on that as they learned about the shooter, learned about how everybody knew who he was, 39 visits by Local authorities, the FBI ignoring two warnings, all of these, all these signs, a plethora of them. In the reporting and all that, it was also reported that the guy felt ostracized by fellow students, he was eventually kicked out of school, he was he never fit in, he was made fun of and laughed at, and they mocked him all over the place. And my question to that, well, is who did that? Who did the laughing at the guy? Who did the mocking? Who was making fun of him? Who was making him feel like a kook and an oddball and not wanted? We all know how mean and vicious high school can be. You realize how many adults are still haunted by their high school days? You know, if you don't realize that, I'm, do a little test. If you know somebody you went to high school with, but you don't live where they live anymore, you're still in touch with them now and then, but but you're separated, and you don't talk to them much, the next time you do, wherever the conversation goes, you'll find an opening. Say something like, you know, I was, I was, in my high school days, I'll tell you, I really, I mean, I still feel haunted by, and, you, and they'll say the same thing to you. The reason you don't say it to people is because you think you're the only one. But high school is one of the most formative events in every one of our lives. Because it can be mean and vicious. And there are the cliques. There are the established students and the outsiders. You've got the nerds. You've got the cool crowd. Everybody knows this. And lo and behold, this guy, the early reports in, as we always do, why did he do it? Why did he feel the need to go to the school and start shooting it up? Is when we got the explanation that he was laughed at, made fun of, uh, mocked, all these things. And so the question is, well, who did that? Now, Mr. Snurley, why do you think that is salient? Why do you think that that is a point worthy of repeating, aside from the fact that you don't think my name has been in the news enough lately? <laughs> well, 
Well, it it is it it is an area of commonality. It is every one of these shooters, even in the case of the Columbine kids. There were two of them there. You'll find that early reporting of the shooters has much in common with their feeling left out, pointed out, made fun of, kicked out of school even, bullied. That word is used in in, in practically every early description of these perpetrators. Bullied. But in this case, the drive-by media dropped those characterizations really fast. And we stopped hearing about those characteristics of the shooter. And they were replaced by other things. But somebody had to do the bullying. Somebody had to be doing the laughing. Somebody had to be making fun of the guy. And who was that? Well, the little angels. High school's a vicious place. 